Disclaimer, everything I speak on in this video is alleged. All unnecessary necessary opinions are my own and opinions aren't facts. And that's that on that. Y'all, I'm gonna end these long nails. The next time I get my nails done, they're not gonna be long. And I promise y'all, they're gonna be nice and short. I need to be able to do stuff. Thank you. on me and I told her, Chrissy, stop touching me. Chrissy, stop putting your hands on me. Like, she went put on some shoes and we'll start, tying, uh, start tying up her sweatpants, these gray sweatpants that she had on, um, trying to fight me. You know what I'm saying? What if I have to defend myself one day? What? <laughs> start grabbing me and throwing me around and everything like that. And I'm telling him, like, Daddy, can you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? Like, control her. Get your bitch. Get your bitch. You gotta smile, bitch! Smile, bitch! Come on! on. We gonna start this thing over right. You ball in the motherfucking house. Come on, oh, come on. Hey, 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 do it, baby, take it, baby. Hey, 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 do it, baby, take it, baby. Hey, 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 do it, baby, take it, baby. Hey, 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 it, baby. Hello, my beautifully broken people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, or night, whichever one it is for you. If you're new here, Welcome home. Please remember most Fridays I show one of your videos to show my appreciation. So please be sure to like or dislike, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell. Today we will be discussing Miss Yomi Bites TV allegedly attacking her stepdaughter, Nini. With that being said, let's get into it. We haven't put up a blog, y'all. We just, you know, had things to do. Um, I So a few days ago, I received this comment, which led me to check in my email. Once I went through my email, my T-Spies was sending me a ton of screenshots of Yummy Bites comment section and Lipstick Alley. So I wobbled my fat ass over to Yummy Bites comment section to make sure this wasn't a false alarm. And of course, it wasn't. This comment is very real. So I emailed Nini and contacted her on Instagram and asked her was that her leaving messages on Lipstick Alley. And as you can see from the receipts on your screen, she confirmed it definitely was her. I didn't have to have her confirm the messages she left under Yummy's video because I was able to click on the icon and it sent me directly to her channel. So the rumor was Yummy Bites attacked Nini because Nini wanted to eat seafood, but Yummy Bites wanted to do a challenge with spaghetti burritos. Turn out the part about the challenge was false, but Yummy Bites attacking Nini allegedly wasn't. I ended up doing a two-hour interview with Nini over video chat, and she told and showed me some receipts of some very disturbing things about Yummy Bites and Murder Show. She opened up to me, sharing her life story, and throughout everything she told me, in the end, all I saw was a child who desperately wanted to be loved by her father. And what I won't ever do is exploit someone who was clearly hurting and damaged. So I made the human decision of making sure that it's this is what she really wanted to do. I told Nini to sit on it for a few days, and if she still wanted me to make a video, I would, just not with everything she told me, and I wouldn't show all the receipts. Just because, believe it or not, I don't like exposing people. I like to give my uno on information that's already out there, and because Nini publicly addressed this before she spoke to me, I'm going to give my uno. So how was everybody's Christmas? Hope everything went good for y'all. How was your Christmas? It was wonderful. I'm going to play you guys some of the voice notes of Nini explaining what happened Sunday, December 22nd, 2019 at 12.30 a.m. I'm going to come in and out with my commentary when needed. So what happened was Christy came into the room while me, my dad, Leia, and Jada were all playing a game. And demanded that, and she bumped me into the back, uh, bumped me in the back of my head in the chair I was sitting in. She demanded that Jaden got into my dad. Jaden turned around and hit her and turned back to play the game because Jaden doesn't really talk to her. He's nonverbal autistic, so he expresses himself through 
grunts and movement. So he hit his mom, let her know he didn't want to take a bath, and turned around and continued playing the game. So my dad was like, it's 1230, he don't have to go to school in the morning, let him make it. So she persisted that he took a bath. So my dad stopped playing a game with us and went to take Jaden a bath. Maybe 10 minutes after my dad left out the room, Leia came back in, letting me know, that she asked her mom to take us ice skating the next day, but then her mom had said no because she had something to do. Then Leia said, but we ne- we don't got nothing to do. She don't got nothing to do. She already said she was free on Monday. But- so I asked Nene where was she sitting because I wanted to know if Yummy opened the door and bumped her by an accident. I couldn't understand why she would just bump her for nothing, but Nene explained the layout of the room and where she was sitting, the door is next to Murder Show's bed, and she was sitting in a chair. So she feels like Yummy Bites bumped her on purpose. She had already said that she was free Monday, but then Christy said she'll take her Wednesday after I left, after she dropped me off, that she'll take Leia ice skating, which is unfair because she knew I was leaving, and she, wanted, she said after she dropped me off that she'll take us. I mean, that she'll take her. So... I just said, but like, you already know, I said, we never do anything when we come over here. If you heard the conversation between me and my mom earlier, like, three, four hours before, this was me talking to Leia. If you heard the conversation my mom had, like, three, three, four hours earlier, I clearly said that we don't do nothing whenever I come over here. Y'all do everything before I get here, and we just sit and chill on our phones when I'm here. So, as soon as I said that, Leia said... No, 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 um, that's because we never have nothing planned. And I said, Leia, last time we had something planned, we didn't do it. And after I said that, Christy bust into the room and said, um, what did y'all say about me? What y'all said about me? Nene, what you said? What you said? So I repeated exactly what I said verbatim. And after I finished saying what I was saying, after I finished saying exactly what I said, Christy persisted that I was talking about her. Let her let her mom know, no, I'm the one that said that you wasn't taking us ice skating and that you didn't have nothing to do Monday. You just didn't want to take us and you said you was going to take me Wednesday after you dropped Nene off. So Christy was like, no, I heard all of that. What y'all said before that, what y'all said before that, I've been sitting at the door for five to ten minutes listening to y'all. Y'all been in here talking about me. So keep in mind, this is the first time me and my sister have been around each other in a year. This is our first time sitting in the room by ourselves in a year. This is our first time having a conversation face to face in a year. And Christy is standing at the door listening to the conversation like a petty child. So I'm trying to let her know, like, no, Christy, I was not talking about you at all. Like, uh, I spoke about my mom and what me and my mom talked about, but I didn't speak on you not one time because I really don't care, like, if we go or not. I came over here to visit with my little sister for her birthday, and that's that. So, for those who watch Yummy Bites' vlog channel, y'all may have seen her filming her children from her staircase without their knowledge while they're doing mukbangs for her main channel. It's super creepy to me, and Yummy Bites says and does the most childish things. So, I absolutely believe her half of a hundred-year-old ass was sitting there ear-hustling on them babies. So after I said that, Christy continued telling me I was talking about her and that I was being disrespectful and talking about her and talking about her. And she wanted to know what I was talking about her and I'm not leaving. They're out the room so I tell her what I was saying about her. So I said, if you was listening at the door, then you would know I didn't say nothing about you. But this is petty and this is childish. So I'm finna just go get my daddy and I'm finna have my daddy come. And he can figure this out because I'm not finna keep on trying to tell no grown lady I'm not talking about them. And I'm dealing with stuff. Like, that's lame, that's childish, that's dead. I'm 17 years old, I have my own apartment in Atlanta, Georgia. So, what do I look like arguing back and forth with somebody over something so childish and so petty when I'm over here for my little sister's birthday after while mourning the death of my little sister? Not after mourning, but while mourning the death of my little sister um, over here to celebrate my little, my other little sister's birthday who gets treated like a princess while I get treated like a piece of coal. So I want y'all to keep that part in mind while listening to this entire story. This baby, she's 17, but I'm still going to address her as a baby. Y'all can agree or disagree. And she did tell me I can share how her sister died, but that's not my place. But anyways, she's mourning the death of her little sister. And Yummy's childish ass is busting open the door, asking teenagers, are they talking about her? Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter? Get the fuck out. So, um... I tried to leave out the room to go let my dad know what was happening. He was um, taking a shower with Jaden. She she tried to push me. Um, she, no, she was pushing me, not trying to push me. She was pushing me, trying to stop me from going to tell my dad what was going on. So I finally like got 
out of the room, and I went into the room where my dad was taking a shower, and I was standing in the door of the restroom while he was in the shower, and I was letting him know, like, what was going on. She comes in there trying to talk over me and yelling over me and pushing on me, and I told her, Chrissy, stop touching me. Chrissy, stop putting your hands on me. You know my mama, stop touching me. Stop putting your hands on me. Chrissy, stop putting your hands on me. Stop. T- I'm talking to my daddy. I'm, ta- I'm not talking to you, Chrissy. I'm talking to my daddy. Chrissy, I'm talking to my daddy. I'm trying to tell my daddy what's going on. She's steady pushing me, telling me, no, get out of her room, steady pushing me and everything like that. So I got to the point, because I'm bipolar one. I've been to the psych, I was in a psych ward from November 1st, 2018 to November 15, 2018. I was diagnosed with bipolar one disorder, ADHD, and anxiety. Um, and Chrissy knows this. So at some point, I just snapped and told her if she continued to push me, I was going to beat her up. And after that, she continued to push me, continued to push me, and continued to talk over me. So I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. And after that, like, she went and put on some shoes and would start tying, uh, start tying up her sweatpants, these gray sweatpants that she had on, um, trying to fight me. So my dad jumped out the shower, and as soon as he jumped out the shower, he came and started grabbing me and throwing me around and everything like that. And I'm telling him, like, Daddy, can you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? Like, control her. Get your bitch. Get your bitch. So one of the questions I asked Nene was, what if Yummy Bites and Murder Show use her mental health against her as the reason why this incident took place? And for her, it's part of the reason why she wanted me to do the video, because people were already saying that. To your daughter. Oh, whatever. I'll let you in. I'll let you in. I'll let you get pumped up. Ah! And Wait a minute, it's not over. It's not over. Oh no. It's not over. Oh. You just let me win again. You know how I let you win. Again. You know how I let you win. Again. You know how I let you win. Again. I want to get it. Yeah, let's get it. Again. Are you really? You really want to win? Yeah, I got it. I also felt like she was out of line for calling Yummy Bites out of her name, which she admitted and later apologized for. She also is extremely open about her mental health on her channel. And if this incident took place, as she alleges, it didn't start because of her mental health. It started because Yummy was looking for a fight, standing at that door, listening and waiting for something to happen. At first, I started thinking Yummy probably told Murder Show to bathe her son just so she could start some drama. But because of something Nene told me and because I do see their son gravitate more to his father, I'm not sure if she this was her plan all along. So Leia starts trying to tell my dad, like, Daddy, stop, 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 stop. Jaden was hitting his mom, and my and my dad was pushing on me um, and yelling in my face and everything like that. And I'm sitting here in tears trying to tell my daddy, like, she in here missing me. She's in here being petty with me while I'm just playing the game with my sister. And we was in here having a private conversation between sisters, even if we was talking about her, like, we are 16 and 17 years old. We are sisters. We're going to do that. Like, so us having a proper conversation amongst each other, she shouldn't even been listening to. And I'm trying to get my daddy to understand that and let him know, like, I wasn't talking about her. Leia also telling him, Daddy, late, Nene did not say nothing to Nene was not saying nothing to my mama. Nene was not saying nothing to my mama. Nene didn't say nothing about my mama. Nene tried to come in here, come get you. Continue to take Christy's side. And so I kept telling him, like, get her, get her, get her. And I was on the phone with my mom as well. And he going to tell me I was disrespectful for trying to come in the restroom. I mean, for coming in the restroom, telling him what was going on while he was taking a shower. And, I'm, and I told him, this is exactly what I said. It was disrespectful and everything, but it was a heated conversation. I said, bro, you you my daddy. I could I could come in there trying to tell you what was going on because it's not like I could see him. So he kept on telling me that I was being disrespectful. I said, bro, I don't want your dick. And those was the exact words I told my daddy. Like, I don't want you. So why? Why is it a problem that I'm trying to come let my father know what is going on between his child and his alleged girlfriend that he doesn't even sleep in the room with? Now, let's just say Nene was talking about Yummy. I still don't feel like she should have confronted her. Now, I always say you can't be upset with how a person chooses to react to something, however comma. She could have called her mother or spoke to Murder Show about it or approached her like an adult. 
But if you knew the history behind their relationship, you will understand why she chose to confront her the way she did. And it has absolutely nothing to do with Nini. Now, I wasn't going to say this, but I was uncomfortable hearing her say what she just said. And I was even more uncomfortable at how Murder Show allegedly got upset with her for trying to talk to him. I don't understand why he would be so upset with her standing in the doorway. I could see if she went and pulled the shower curtain or something. So, Christy was in there talking uh, her shit as usual, and I'm on the phone with my mama, and she antagonizing me, like, at the door, stay messing with me and everything like that, laughing and just antagonizing me. I'm on the phone with my mom as well as arguing with my dad, telling him to control her and get her and tell her to leave me alone, and he would not do that. So... Christy um, and my dad both were telling me to get my stuff and get out, get my stuff and get out. So I told um, my dad, okay, well, give me my Christmas presents that my grandmother brought over here because my grandmother had brought my Christmas present from her and my grandfather, my pop, um, to, his, to my dad's house because she thought that's where I was going to be. So I told him, okay, well, give me my presents so I can go. So he gave me that. He did not give me not a single gift for Christmas at all. And once he gave me that, he told me, okay, it's time for me to leave. And I had on some shorts. So I was like, okay, and I started packing up all my stuff. And, well, not even all my stuff because I came over there with, like, two or three pieces, two or three items of clothes, and that's it because they have bed bugs, and I didn't want to bring bed bugs home to my mom's house or back to my apartment when I got back to Atlanta. So I only brought two items, of clo two or three items of clothing. And I packed all of that up. Um, I accidentally left a pair of my shoes over there, though. Um... And he threw me outside. So I was on the phone with my mom, and I was crying. So I got off the phone with my mom, and I called my dad's mother, my grandmother, to let her know what was going on. And it, around that time, I think it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was 1 o'clock in the morning when I was outside. I called the police as well as um, the neighbors called the police because... I went into the house to go try to get try try to get my sh retrieve my shoes back, and they would not let me get my shoes. And my dad continued to push on me and hit me while Christy was telling me to catch her, catch her, catch her, catch her, to basically like tie her shoes up, telling me to catch her. And she was squaring up and put her hair up and everything. Well, took her wig off and um, was telling me to catch her to fight her. And I had dropped my phone trying to trying to go get to her, and my dad tackled me down the stairs. And Christy took that opportunity. To to pick up my phone and get on the phone with my mom so my mom let Christy know, hey, I need you to get away from my daughter. I need you to go somewhere so my daughter can calm down or, and so she could sit in the house and wait for her ride to get there because my uncle's on the way to come get me. So, um, my dad threw me outside and wouldn't let me grab my stuff. So I kept on trying to come back in the house and get, grab my things. Finally, um, I got my things and I called the police, let them know, hey, you have a wanted fugitive in the house because my dad is a wanted fugitive in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So I let them know that, hey, you have a wanted fugitive in the house, as well as a lady who just put her hands on me at about 1.43 a.m. Um, so that was a lot. And believe it or not, I chopped a good portion of the voice notes out. Nene, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, baby. I know you gave me permission to share everything you sent me, but I just didn't feel comfortable telling some parts of your story, even though they were in your own words. I just couldn't. I also want to address that. I checked to see if Murder Show was wanted, like she said, and I didn't find any evidence of that. Also, I'm sure if he really was wanted, they would have took him that night. And Nini's uncle was able to come get her, and she went back home to her mother's house safe and sound. Now, I know people will question my motives behind making this video. Some people are going to say, girl, why did you do this video if you weren't going to share everything? Or why even do the video in the first place? And I actually welcome those questions because I always tell y'all, never lack discernment and question everything. So the reason why I went through with this be it was because of murder shows and Yummy Bites behavior after this incident. For them to sit there and joke about her needing to have shorter nails so she could defend herself as if she was attacked disgusted me. For Yummy to swing a ton of palm trees about the situation in her vlogs disgusted me. For her to ask how 
his Christmas was, and for him to say great while looking at the camera the way he did disgusted me. The receipts I saw and heard disgusted me. The fact that he clearly knows how to be a great dad but chooses not to disgusts me. I say that because I see how he treats his son. Although I feel like some of the stuff he says is inappropriate, you can't deny that he loves that little boy. Now, Nini feels that Yummy is the reason why her dad treats her the way he does. She blames her for not encouraging him to be a better father throughout her life. And I could understand that to a certain extent. Because as a woman, there's no way in hell I would allegedly be taking care of a man who doesn't take care of his kids and has a baby by him. Anyway, but just like I told Nini, that isn't Yummy's fault. It's his. He would make it clear. If he would make it clear that none of the spiteful things that she's allegedly doing to Nini wouldn't be accepted, then she wouldn't do it. A person only does what you allow them to do. Then it also goes back to the way she was brought into this world. If what she told me about how the day went when she was born is true, and I say that, Nene, because I feel, I don't feel like you were lying, but you were a baby, so you were told that story. And no, it wasn't by her mother. But if that story is true, she wasn't conceived with love on, on murder show's side. So again, if it's true, it plays a big part in the way he allegedly treats her. Yummy and Murder Show, you're basura, okay, to me. I only feel comfortable saying that because of the receipts. And yes, I know what she did. And I told her it's the nastiest thing you could ever do to a person. But she was allegedly damn near jumped. So how can I blame her? Nini, keep your head up, stay on track, and live for you. You're about to be 18. I always say we're raised three times. Once by our parents, second by our environment, third by ourselves. You have to take a balance from each of those and mix what works for you. When you love yourself, nothing else matters. Good luck, Pooh. Anyway, guys, it's 6 a.m. I'm done with this. Do you feel like Nini was telling us the truth? Do you feel like... I, should ha I shouldn't have made the video or I'm being biased. Let me know your unnecessary, necessary opinions in the comment section below. And I'll see you hoes in the next one. Bye. Clear it out. Girl, clear it out. Come on. Come on. Come on.